my kids. Uh, since they've been born, I've never been a day without neither one of my kids. Now, a 10 on your side exclusive, a mother's emotional interview from behind bars. Suffolk police arrested Geronda Wilson and another man. She's facing charges of abusing and neglecting her two-year-old daughter and six-month-old son. Officers were investigating another crime at the North Division Street home. They heard crying inside a camper in the backyard. The camper's door was chained and padlocked. Officers say they had a kick in the door to get to them and inside the children with no water, electricity, or to the children rather, with no water, electricity, or air conditioning. The mother is talking only to 10 on your sides, Andy Fox. Andy. Yeah, Geronda Wilson did this interview because she simply wants to set the record straight, which really is tough for her to do because of the facts from Suffolk Police and from her. As you'll see, she is deeply sad, saying she and the children visited a home that was in disrepair, but that this was not the home where they live. I do everything for my kids, everything. If you look at Geronda Wilson's Facebook page, you see play with children. You see a loving mother. A much different picture here in Suffolk, where her two children were found in this camper in squalor. Behind a locked door from outside, no running water, no AC, windows shut. This hurts very bad. and it's, I shouldn't be here. Like, I shouldn't. Um, my kids are my life. <laughs> I'm a young mom, but my kids are my life. The children were found in soiled diapers, but Wilson claimed she changed the diapers before going to the store. I do understand how that looks, and I know it doesn't look good, but I know that it's not the truth either. My kids were not in soiled diapers. Wilson lives in Newport News, but visits her boyfriend who lives in the camper. They said, who, where's the kid's mother? I said, well, I'm their mother. On Tuesday, she left her two-year-old daughter and six-month-old son in the care of her boyfriend's roommate and went to the store. And then the police showed up, and when she returned, they took her in. I knew I didn't do anything wrong, so I didn't have nothing to hide. We asked her about allowing children to live in a place with no running water. I did not know if the water was working because I don't use it. Me and my kids shower and bathe before we even come over and when we go home. Suffolk police aren't buying that. They condemned the camper and sent Wilson to jail, now without bond. When you find yourself charged with these crimes... It pisses me off. But for Wilson, it is what it is. I don't even have friends. My life is based on me and my kids. But you admit that that is not a place you ought to be keeping children, that mobile home. Yes, I can admit that. Yes. Dreams, her life, kids, a career, all on hold. I love, you know, the career that I want, and I won't have that. I won't have an apartment. I won't have anything. And she may not have her kids. I spoke with Geronda Wilson's mother, who lives in Hampton. She has both children, and they are in great shape, she says. They also say their daughter is an excellent mother, and what has happened surprises them and disappoints them, too. Wilson remains in jail without bond, and no court date has been set. She also does not have a lawyer yet. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.